Hello, we're here at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. We're at the UK Trade and Investment um, Stand. And we're here from, with Robert, who's from the Design Council. Hello. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you very much. Tell me, what is the Design Council? The Design Council is a, a, an organization in the UK that promotes design, um, both in terms of the industry, UK industry and design, but also to UK companies, about using design for commercial benefits, to solve tough issues. It's about promoting the smart and intelligent use of design. It sounds like a very interesting concept, uh, unique, we could say. Yeah, I mean, th this particular program, which I'm managing at the Design Council, is called Design a Crime. And it's a home office funded project, which looks at a number of different areas uh, where they want design and technology b innovation to be brought to bear to try and solve some pretty tough social issues. One of the streams of work that we looked at is alcohol-related crime. And in particular, in the UK, there's an issue with uh, pine glasses being used as a violent weapon and some innovations in that space about how do you actually provide a safe vessel which still provides the user with that experience they want to have when they have a pint. We've taken the same sort of um, ingenuity and creativity and innovation and, and, and tackled mobile phone related crime. In particular, we asked teams to look at um, making a handset less attractive to thieves to steal, about making the data on the phones more difficult to use and exploit, and also when m-commerce becomes prevalent in the UK, how do you secure that transaction in a way that isn't burdensome, actually allows for the transaction to happen quickly, but more secure. And we had a competition we ran, we had uh, a number of teams, design and tech teams, come together, and three of the teams came forward, were funded by the TSB, Technology Strategy Board, £100,000, and coached by uh, a number of experts from the UK's uh, mobile space. And we brought the three solutions here to Barcelona to say, here, here is a great example of design and innovation uh, that tackles a tough issue within the mobile space, but does so in a very elegant way, has benefits for the consumer, has benefits for the industry as, as a whole. Is it possible to see a demonstration of what uh, we're talking about? There's, there's a number of them. But I'll, I'll walk you through um, the a, a solution called TouchSafe, which is looking at mobile commerce. So traditionally right now, what you need to do with, with a mobile commerce application, so you're going to use your near-field enabled phone, you swipe it over the terminal, uh, to pay for a transaction, but before you do that, you've got to launch a wallet, so an application. You've got to then also put in a passcode, and once you do that, then your phone is enabled, and then you can just swipe it over the terminal and pay. And what we've done, or what I shouldn't say what we've done, but what Proxama and Minima, which is the team that developed this, was to create an RFID digital key. So instead of doing all those steps, you touch your phone to your key, and it automatically opens your wallet, and it automatically authenticates your phone for payment and swipe. Now this is its first version, I mean this is first generation, but it's an RFID chip which you could embed into anything. So, you know, uh, uh, someone like Swatch could embed it into their watch, watch straps uh, and so all you do is you just touch it and away you go. So what it does is it allows for that transaction to happen quicker and in a more secured way. Because <clears throat> you can imagine you're at a busy checkout, you've got 100 people behind you and you're fumbling around with your phone to launch your application, put your PIN number in, and the guy behind you is watching you put your PIN number in, it's not very secure. But for a merchant, to have people just come up, touch and swipe and away they go, it's great. And as I said, this will get built into your everyday life. You'll carry it either in your backpack or in your, your purse embedded on your watch strap, whatever. Tell me, how's the reception so far? It's really, I mean, it's, it's good. It's been very encouraging to people see the solutions and the, elegant of the, the elegance of the solutions and, and how they're very simple and very much about user-led innovation. Um, so I think there's, there's some real interest. And I think what they do is they demonstrate really powerfully the approach that we've been trying to push, which is Crime prevention and security doesn't need to be something that you add on afterwards. And when you add it on afterwards, it's usually pretty clunky. It's an afterthought. It's not very secure. But if you say right from the onset when you're developing a new handset or developing a new service, you say, okay, listen, we've got to make sure this is really secure. How do we do that? When you build it in from the very beginning, you can get something quite powerful and quite elegant. Well, um, we wish you the best of luck. It sounds very, very exciting and a great idea. Thank you very much. Thanks very much.